Hello, um, sorry this is the update on the projects that I've got going on at the moment. Um, as you can see the um, Sherman Jomo is uh, finished. So the um, first in Bastogne as you can see on this side. Um, I assume it's only on one side, I can only see it on, um, alright there's only a cable with one decal for that so anyway. Um, yeah so more or less uh, well, it is finished, um, lightly weathered in terms of chipping and, and that sort of stuff. Um, finally uh, got the trucks done for it so that's a good thing. So I've got some noise going off in the background. Um, it's not distracting me. Anyway, um, had massive gaps on the tracks where they join. Um, didn't want to use staples because you can't really hide it that well. Although I didn't think at the time, so sort of super glued it together the best I can. Hit it with the um, fake snow um, and a bit of mud and stuff, um, and put some fake snow on on the tank. As you can see, I think it comes out quite well. I, I like the texture of the snow; it's quite good for this particular project. It's quite good for um, you know clumps of snow, maybe not for like the powdering. Uh, but it's the Lejo's environment snow, it's quite good, um, I recommend it, if you haven't used it that is. So yeah, um, put some storage on the back, some tie downs and that sort of thing. Um, very well happy with it. To be honest I got to the point, you know, like I said in the last video with the track, issues with the track, sort of lost my mojo in it. Just wanted to get it finished and out of the way, to be honest. Um, so I didn't go as far as I would have uh, with uh, finishing off things. Could have you know, done a few things a bit better or done a bit more work to it, but like I said, wanted to finish it. But I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, so I'll leave that spinning for a little while. Um, so the next project. I've got on the go is my abandoned Porsche. Um, I'll show it you in a minute. Basically, I've put it on, made a little, made the floor for it, like the diorama type thing. Um, I used some real mud, uh, mixed it with PVA, and some um, matte and gloss varnish and some paint and stuff. Um, Given a good effect, um, but uh, I'll, show, I'll just move that out of the way. I'll show you it here. Um, so that's it there. Um, I used these uh, cutting boards that I bought a while ago for dioramas, uh, but they always seem to, um, if you put wet mud on them, I forgot about it this time. Uh, you put wet mud on them, the mud dries. It kind of pulls the um, pulls the the wood and makes it arc. As you can see there, which isn't a bad problem apart from these gaps here. I don't know what to do with these. Um, uh, you could just say it's on a hill or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm not too happy with that. The mud around the edges. I meant plan to clean up after it. Uh, after I got it to the shape that I wanted, um, but it's like going to be quite hard to clean off because it's set like concrete. Um, but oh well, I'll get around that somehow. Like I say the Porsche is pretty much done. Um, just got to you know, spray some mud, well, spray some paint on it to simulate dust and mud and that sort of thing. Um, Got a pallet and the wheels there. It's going to be some oil drum, a couple of oil drums here. Obviously, that needs to be painted. Um, got some panels that I robbed from another kit. Door, a bonnet, and a wing. It's going to be put around here. Um, I'm going to leave these in primer actually. I thought I was going to paint them, um, but then I thought. I leave them in primer like they're ready to be painted to put on the thing that they've been forgotten about. So obviously 
Got to put some gloss on that and some dirt, streaking, that sort of thing. Um, it's going to be a chain link fence going around sort of here that I've got to make up. This is a uh, fake long grass that I need to cut to um, simulate uh, long grass, but it's too long at the moment. But I just need to trim that, so that's not a big problem. Um, got some si uh, signs that's going to be put in different places. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so now I've basically finished the tank, the Sherman today so this is going to be the main um, focus until I um, before I go on to the next project like I said this is a bit of fun um, so I'm not aiming for it to be perfect but um, yeah it's not going the way I want it to at the moment but well it's sort of as well as it being a bit of fun it's a bit of um practice with current models like I said in my last video I'm gonna venture myself into um a few a few car models. So <coughs> excuse me. Um yeah venturing a few car models um so this is a bit of a dip in my toe in there slightly. Still main still like focusing on the armour but just something different, challenge myself. Blah blah blah. Um so yeah that was just sort of little practice on the builds, building side of cars, and a little bit of painting, trying to get a decent finish. Obviously, I wasn't looking for a shiny finish on this, but yeah. Anyway, happy with that. Apart from the mud and curved base, obviously. Um, and oh yeah, and I got the um, engine that's going to go on the pallet. Needs to be detail painted and that sort of thing. Rob that from a Ravel Porsche 911 kit, as well as the um, panels that come from the body. The remainder of the body is uh, going to use as a little um, donor um, just to practice getting a shiny paint, basically. So I've painted this, um, this colour. This is going to be one of the actual colour for the uh, proper cars that I'm going to do. But yeah, um, so I've painted the colour, so I'm waiting for that to dry. In the next couple of days I'll put the gloss on. But um, I don't know why I've got this really, I don't know if it's coming out on the um, camera, but I've got a proper orange peel. Um, uh, but I haven't got it on the top, so basically, what I, I I tried a few different techniques on this actual body just to see what comes out. So this half I sanded the primer. This half I didn't. Uh, that's why I think there's a bit of a line going along there. I don't know if you can see that. Must be. I'm assuming that's for where the primer has been sanded. So on the bottom of the on the sides. I went light, loads of light hair colours, uh, layers, and on the top I did lighter stuff, and then I went heavy, and it seems to have come out best on the smoothest on the top. Uh, I've got this serious like orange peel creasing type thing on the sides. I would have thought the lighter would have been better, but it appears not. But anyway, so that's that. Um, I think I've gone through everything. No new buys. Oh, my car kits did come, so I suppose I could show you those. Um, so I showed you the um, Ferrari F1. So I've got the um, Williams F1. Sort of Damon Hill. Um, and then the 94 um, and then got this one Tamiya Porsche 956 probably shouldn't have bought so many um, considering I don't know how they're going to turn out but if the first one goes horrendously wrong 
I can sell them again and get my money back. It's not a big problem. Sorry, laptop keeps going to sleep. Um, and then the last one. This is the end of McLaren. So yeah, that's that's everything. So um, ho I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you liked the video. Give a thumbs up if you did. Um, any comments? Always appreciate it. Subscribers, always appreciate it. So, thank you. Goodbye.